Hi, everyone. I'm Matthew Gould, founder of Unstoppable Domains, and I'm joined today by Ryan Lay. Hi, I am one of the engineers here at Unstoppable Domains. So we're very excited today because you can now send crypto uh, much more confidently by confirming the Twitter account before uh, sending a payment. And we've done this by connecting with Chainlink and also back on the back end of Twitter. So Ryan's going to show you right now what this looks like on the user side when you have it all set up, when you're sending a transaction in a crypto wallet. So Ryan, I'll let you take it. Cool. So over here on the My Ether Wallet page, uh, I want to send cryptocurrency to uh, someone named Ryan Lay, uh, test, Ryan Testing, uh, that crypto. And right pops up a verified Twitter handle. So I know that I'm sending it to the right person. I know I'm sending it to this uh, person with this Twitter handle because they've had it verified with their domain. So I can click over and see that they've uh, tweeted uh, some verification steps and I can see their profile. And yes, this at Ryan Lay is like the correct person I want to send it to. So I'm confident and I'm sure that my crypto is going to the right person. Yeah, it's scary to send payments to blockchain hex addresses. And by checking the Twitter account, I can feel better before, before sending $1,000 in crypto to a random address or a blockchain domain name. And I can see the social handle that they have verified back to their domain. Uh, this extends the functionality of Oracle networks uh, like Chainlink and blockchain domains to verify social identities back to your domain name. And one of the many new functions you can verify with Chainlink and blockchain domains are the social handles. And I think we're gonna see a lot more of these coming out in the future. It says this significantly reduces the chance for fraud or scams when sending crypto. Everyone knows the famous send one BTC to my address and get two BTC back. Uh, but now at least you can double check it and see if that person's social profile is legitimate. Uh, so uh, Brian, how about you show us how a user can set this up? I think it's just a few steps. Yeah, it's pretty simple to verify. Uh, first of all, you would need verification credits, which you can purchase from our page. Uh, I already have a verification credit, so I'll proceed to uh, enable Chainlink to verify my domain so they can make updates to my resolver, uh, confirming that I am this person after I've tweeted. Uh, so I'll perform this transaction right here, and this will take a couple minutes, and I'll actually have to change wallets. So many wallets. Is it? Oh God. Yeah, this is the right wallet. Um, and I'll just wait for this transaction to complete and go about the next step. All right. Cool. So once that transaction has gone through, I can uh, go ahead and tweet the verification. Uh, so here's a tweet right here. It includes the verification code necessary for Chainlink to pick up the tweet and to verify that with your domain name. So I'm going to tweet that right there and then head back over and click verify tweet. This will consume one of the verification credits I have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I assign a couple signatures uh, and that will be sent over to Chainlink and Chainlink will uh, connect my tweet with the verification signature of my wallet and they'll make an update to my domain record. Uh, and we'll let this sit for another couple minutes and we will we'll be back to seeing if the domain is verified. Got it. And uh, for advanced users, if you actually already have Chainlink in your wallet and some Ethereum, you can do this yourself directly with the contract uh, by going to the guest manage section on our site. Uh, and that way you can actually just pay it uh, direct yourself with your own chain link credits. All right. So as you guys can see, Chainlink has verified our domain. So we can see confirmation that our Twitter has been linked to our domain name, angrybear.crypto. Uh, and if you search for it on our page, you'll also see that it shows up uh, under the search results. Uh, and I can click this over here to double check. Great. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's uh, showing you how you can get it set up. I'm gonna, about to dive in real quick to talk about how it works. I highly suggest reading the blog post. Um, 
on our medium to, to get more details about this. I'm just real quick going to talk about you know, high level um, what's happening behind the screens here, behind the scenes here. So let me pull this up. Or Ryan, let me know if you can see the screen. Yeah. Great. Excellent. So there's actually a lot happening behind the scenes here. Um, the high points is to just know that we are abstracting payments uh, and we're also reducing the number of signatures that you need to uh, send out these transactions. And we're handling the back and forth with Chainlink. And then we're making sure that this actually gets verified by continuing to check on it on the back end. So um, at a very high level here, and if you want to get more technical, please take a look at the blog post. But you can see that we're getting the user to sign in order to permission uh, Chainlink to take some actions on their resolver contract on chain. Uh, once Chainlink has that permission set up, you then go and you go ahead and post the tweet so that there's something for Chainlink to go check. Once you know that you have tweet confirmed, you can then tell Chainlink on chain, hey, I, I sent the tweet, you already have permission to go ahead and execute this transaction. And then Chainlink goes out, hits Twitter's API endpoint on the back end, does some checks uh, with uh, Twitter to make sure that it validates. And that's why you'll see that hash inside the um, tweet post that you have. And after it's confirmed that this is this domain name, this signature matches, uh, this tweet matches from the Twitter endpoint that goes through their Oracle on Chainlink side. It then writes out to the smart contract. And then finally, once it's written on the smart contract, that's what allows uh, wallets like my Ether wallet and then our front end to check and see that Twitter's verified and then display, yes, indeed, when you're trying to send crypto to this address, this is the social handle associated with this person. And you can click through and, and see what Twitter account that is that uh, confirmed that they own that blockchain domain. So we built out the backend technology to handle a lot of the user flows and hide all of this from you guys. Uh, and then also to enable wallets to check this. So it, it's the full process here. If you have a favorite wallet or app, you can let them know now that they can make sending crypto that much easier with a dot crypto domain and chain links, Twitter verify, and we'll definitely work with them to get that implemented. Uh, thanks a lot for checking us out. And we're excited about this new feature. Thanks guys.